Well, hi, everybody, and welcome out to the football practice field. Day one of this year's fall training camp is over. Matt Park, along with Aaron Service, the Orange's redshirt sophomore center from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and uh, easy for me to say. But, Aaron, uh, for you, year one in that role, playing and starting every game at a position that really was somewhat foreign to you right before college football. Yes, sir. Um, you know, it was a little bit of a changeup. I played, I think I played one game at center in my high school career, and it wasn't as a senior. So uh, yeah. it was interesting being put in that role, but I think I handled it well, and uh, I think we had a decent year last year. As the line is composed uh, incomplete here, I think there was some flirtation with you maybe switching positions uh, in the spring or up until this point. Coda Martin coming in as a big addition at right tackle. And so not only does it look like everybody's got some experience, everybody's in a position that makes sense. Right. You know, uh, you know, bouncing around a little bit, you know, coaches always emphasized uh, versatility and mm -hmm. things like that, being able to play a bunch of different roles. And um, but now we've, we've got our roles a little bit better. And uh, uh, now that the season's coming, we can kind of lock in a little bit more and just learn the intricacies of each position better now. Sure. I want to come back and ask you about the experience level and what uh, that means for this year's team. But what about just having day one down here? Uh, you guys work throughout uh, the summer and, and uh, have off-season uh, conditioning. You work amongst yourselves. What's it like when you do come out here? And it matters, and all the coaches are here, and uh, this is the first of many uh, practices at this time period. Yeah, it's really great. Um, you know, we put in so much work in the off-season over the summer and stuff, mm -hmm. and we've really created new bodies for ourselves. Yeah. So um, we never really played at uh, played any snaps in our new bodies, I guess right. you could say. So it's really nice to be able to see uh, the work that we did in uh, the off-season pay off and uh, pay dividends for us on the field. I thought in particular the younger players, newcomers, some of these uh, freshmen really come in looking physically developed. Tell me about maybe more of the veteran players where they're going from uh, used to college you know, football, and it's maybe their second and third year on the training table as opposed to their first. Yeah, you know, as we mature, um, we just we get heavier and stuff like that, especially for us O-line guys. Um, so there's different like weight programs in the weighting that we do, depending on your age and your size and kind of things like sure. that. So some of us were put into different groups, and um, we got to try out some different training techniques, and I think it really paid off for, for a bunch of us, so it was nice. Yeah, visiting with Aaron Service, uh, for him, 12 starts at center a year ago. Every player on the uh, proposed uh, starting offensive line for right now, if you had a game right now, every guy has started at least a full season, in case of Coda Martin, who was at Texas A&M, not here. What does that mean to have that level of experience, which uh, really has uh, eluded this program in recent years, this is the most experienced the offensive line has been in some time. Right. It's just every every game isn't new anymore. Not, mm -hmm. It's not a new experience. Mm -hmm. You know, last year every single opponent that us, that we had uh, for us new guys coming in was a new experience. You know, going away, playing at home, these different teams. That was our first time being in front of those guys and actually getting snaps in front of them. But now we've got that year. We know to know what to expect, and um, we just know how to be uh, react in those situations. And so. even the the backups are maybe a little bit more experienced. Guys like Sam Heckle, who got time a year ago, but Aaron Roberts is back. He had an injury around uh, this time last year. Uh, does he feel like chomping at the bit and, and, and ready to kind of get back in there and, and join the veteran group? Absolutely. AR is, is <laughs> he's very ready to be back. You know, he was, he was devastated with the situation last year, but now he's back. He's ready to start, start hitting people in the mouth. So um, it's really good to have him back. Does it feel easier, Aaron? Uh, I know there's been changes in various personnel. You got a new offensive line coach, uh, maybe a new uh, play calling type uh, situation this year, new offensive coordinator, at least half of, of that. Uh, but being experienced, does it feel like it's second nature now to, to a larger degree? And it, it looked like a pretty cohesive first practice. Absolutely. You know, we've, we've got the year under our belt, so we, we know what we're doing, um, you know, schematic wise. So sure. now it's really about now we've got new eyes with the coach Cav. Now we've got uh, a new mind with us on the old line so we can we can learn different techniques and really push our technique to the next level now sure. where as in the past it's really about you know getting the plays down mm -hmm. things like that but now that we've we've got some time under our belt it's really about the technique and becoming better athletes well as coach baber says the first time he's been a third year head coach and with having mike lynch behind him he's got his feet under him and a little bit more uh, established and i guess you're seeing the benefits of that absolutely it's being in this third year now um i feel like we can really start rolling now um, you know, Coach Babers has never experienced it, and um, I think it'll be exciting to see what we can do this year. You mentioned Mike Cavanaugh is the new offensive line coach. What uh, is his type of approach, and, and what are you guys focusing on right now? Yeah, he's really technique driven. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really just about the little stuff the feet, the hands, body position, things like that. Just really. Uh, honing in our skills mm -hmm. and becoming technicians on the line. Yeah, I saw after practice when you guys are all tired and you've had so many plays, that's when he really wants to focus on your stance and have it a little refresher on your way out the door. Right, When usually when you get tired, that technique stuff kind of goes out the door. So it's really about you know learning how to be technicians while we're tired as well. You know, sure. after practice, we've gone through the whole practice. 
Um, and sometimes things can get sloppy, so it's really about honing in on those skills and uh, just being disciplined. And lastly, if you could, uh, Aaron, give us a, a little feel for that newcomer. We mentioned uh, Coda Martin, kind of an off-season addition, wasn't with you in, in spring ball. What does he bring to the table, and, and how's the line better off for having everybody in the spots they're in right now? Yeah, Coda's a great guy, and he's got experience. I mean, he's mm -hmm. a fifth-year guy, so um, and he's from a different program too, so uh, it only helps to get that different perspective on the line, you know. Um, we, we know how we run things here, um, but we don't know how other schools do it necessarily. So it's interesting to get that uh, different perspective uh, for the line. Unusual for you to be edged out just slightly in the hair department, and, and will you catch up? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'm edged out, but... Okay. Well, you, you have the uh, quality, I guess. He has a little right. more quantity, it looks right. like. It's all about the conditioner. Conditioner. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe yeah. uh, later on as uh, training camp develops, we'll get maybe your styling tips. There we go. <laughs> all right. Aaron, uh, continued success to you. Uh, day one under your belt. Uh, looking forward to seeing how everybody develops uh, over the course of this month. Thank you very much. That's Aaron Service. We invite you to continue to check QS.com for our coverage throughout training camp.